Hey, Justin here with STL Tones, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the new Look 2 Control Hub 3.0 and some of the navigation features. Okay, so right off the bat, you're gonna notice that Control Hub has been completely redesigned from the ground up with a brand new user interface. While things are still in familiar places if you've used the plugin before, it just looks modern and, and really nice. You still have all of your modules at the bottom where you can turn them on and off like before. You have your master section over here with input, output, as well as a mix and balance control, and the other window selections on the left side of the plugin. But there's some new, really awesome features. At the top, you're gonna notice that there's a global search bar. You can use this to type in an artist name, instrument type, really anything, and it will sort through traces for you. So let's just say I'm looking for something under Will Putney. I can click right here, and this instantly takes me to Will Putney's expansion pack, and I can quickly find the preset that I'm looking for. You're also going to notice that there's a brand new preset browser. Now, this is the same preset browser that you know and love from Tone Hub, and it acts and behaves in the exact same way. So say you wanna be in the Will Putney pack and you want a drum preset, you can click drums and it's going to filter this list down here to just the drum presets. You can also come up to this button right here and it will toggle the browser filter view so that you can just have a bigger preset browser. When you want to select a preset, just double click and it will load the preset as normal. Once you load a preset and you want to be able to see the audio analyzer, go ahead and just click on this preset name up here on the left and you can toggle between the preset browser and your EQ. Another way of doing the same thing is simply clicking this X. Okay, for this next example, let's say that we're mixing guitars. I can type in guitars and this will filter down all of the artist expansion packs to just show guitar presets. And if I scroll way down or click this trace exchange button, uh, this will show you specifically guitar presets within the trace exchange. So you can see, maybe I wanna go into Paul Moak's pack and check out this. I can just click there and the preset's already loaded. Super fast way to work. Now, if I come up and click the artist and the preset name, it will load the browser filter view and you'll see that I am within Paul Moak's pack and um, I can see all of the presets. Again, if I want to filter down to category, I can click guitars right there and it filters it down. Maybe I wanna do drums, I can switch to drums, or maybe I wanna do a mastering preset. As you can see, it's never been faster to navigate this plugin. Now, if you come up here and you click presets, you'll see that we have a brand new presets browser. Think of this as your homepage. You'll be able to see our latest releases, all expansion packs by just clicking show all, and then you'll just be able to scroll through them. Uh, the most popular, recently used by you, and your favorites at the bottom. You can always add a new favorite by just clicking this heart. Within the new preset browser, you'll also find the trace exchange, your presets, and your own traces. Thanks for watching this quick look at Control Hub 3.0. This is a free update to all Control Hub users, so head over to stltones.com and grab your copy.